Hi, I'm Bea. My channel is about mixed media, art, journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hey yo! <clears throat> Welcome back to my first page in the altered book. I have glued already two pages together just to save some time. I'm gonna do this right now and I use a simple glue stick and I go first all along the edges that is the most important for me that it is really closed and then I simply and I really like the glue stick because it is a dry it doesn't warp as much Then I press it from the spine outwards. <coughs> so I have a plan. <laughs> uh, some of you may know I also collect the plastic from the packaging and that's why I need two pages. Uh, I want to use that and I want to use this stamp. As you can see I have already prepped my watercolors. If you don't have watercolors a um, substitute would be those sparkle pens. I like a little bit of sparkle. I also have um, a stencil prepped and somewhere here on the table over here. I do have the gesso and wet wipes. So I'm also going to need some deli paper because I need to trace. I want to use that shape. It was, I don't remember what I had in this package. I want, but I want to use this kind of a shape. So I have to trace it. To my page because I want to make a, a cut in just exactly the same size like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace here. probably can't see it in the camera but I didn't I still have some of the pages showing through which I don't like Now my next step is adding some gesso and um, but I don't want to cover up everything so I'm gonna use a baby wipe with the gesso and I'm also gonna use a stencil at least on this page 
Uh, I want to leave more or less this part here. And but I want to cover again the letters. The so I'm gonna apply rather a lot. And for the rest, I'm actually going to use the stencil. Now my next step is obviously to glue that down and um, to make life a little bit easier I'm gonna put that underneath to have uh, a flat surface and I'm gonna use the gel mat and I simply gonna add it to the plastic. That plastic isn't quite clear, it is a used one, but I don't think that matters. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to put a heavy book on it for about five minutes. Okay, back. That is glued in now. I'm more interested on this side. Okay, the glue, uh, the gesso wasn't quite dry here. Oh well, doesn't matter. I want to paint that a little bit with watercolors on this side. I don't know what I'm gonna do here yet, but I'll figure it out. I'm first gonna stamp with um, embossing ink. A dragonfly and I have to make sure that it is somewhere like that. So I'm gonna lightly mark where my stamp block's gonna be. Here we go. And I'm gonna use a black fine embossing ink with this uh, dragonfly. Changed my mind, I'm gonna go for some copper. I do have here some powder, which I don't want. Zoom you in. I'm going to paint the dragonfly and the surrounding a little bit. I'm going to use, of course, shimmer for the dragonfly. As I said, you could use instead some um, sparkle pens.
I don't like the way it looks here. So I was thinking I should clean up my table. No, <laughs> too much stuff going on here. I want to add some lace here. Yep, I like that look. And I think yeah, I'm going to use tacky glue for that. Um, where is my scissor? Too much stuff going on here. <laughs> I'm going to cut it and make a clean cut. And I always find it the most invisible if you overlap on a long side. I never would start at a corner. It's more visible. So I think I'm going to start here. Or maybe here. Much easier here. wipe handy and a little bit of a I don't dare to use a uh, hot glue because of the plastic. I'm not sure if it would melt or not. So I try it this way. Okay. Now that has to dry. <laughs> <laughs> 